Many patients prefer to avoid surgery for several reasons. So the question is, how do podiatrists relieve bunion pain without surgery? It all starts out with shoes. The best shoes and sandals for bunions will have the following features. Width. Doctors recommend extra wide shoes to accommodate the wide splay foot that develops with bunions and tailors bunions. The wide width will not squeeze the foot and create a pressure-free environment for the bunion. Your best bet is to look at orthopedic brands that specialize in wide width footwear. Toe box. The other key feature is not just the width, but also the shape of the toe box in front of the shoe. The toe box, which houses the bunion, has to be round and not pointed. Also, the toe box needs to be high to accommodate the often related hammer toe on the second toe, which protrudes up. In addition, the big toe also can stick up with a bunion and so the shoe needs extra height in the toe box. Look for round, wide, and roomy toe boxes that are also tall. Orthrotic insole. Orthopedic shoe companies design shoes with built-in orthrotic insoles, which help in stabilizing the deformed foot especially where there is excess pronation. An orthrotic can slow down the continued worsening of the deformity and reduce pain by redistributing forces on the damaged forefront joints. Extra depth. A deep shoe construction along the entire shoe is also a big feature that is required for bunion accommodation. An extra depth shoe generally has more total room and the ability to handle an insert. Soft and seam-free interiors. Having a soft, seamless inner lining that is padded with foam and a flexible outer material or uppers without overlays provides gentle contact with the bunion and helps relieve bunion pain. Stretch fabric uppers. When the shoes are constructed with materials that are flexible and stretch, they conform to the counters of the foot as well as to the bunion bump and don't apply any pressure on it. Heel to toe drop. The best shoes need to be low to the ground with low heels, as any heel height is counterproductive to a forefoot with any bunion type. If the heel is elevated even a small amount, extra force is put on the forefoot, jamming it forward and causing stress to the already damaged joints. This further destroys cartilage and adds to the deformity, speeding up the process of more deformity and causing more pain. Heel counter. Shoes should also have a firm heel counter and firm outside for stability. Pronation, which is excess motion of the foot, causes bunions to form and continue to progress. So the shoe needs to be stable to reduce the pronation motion. Here are the six best sandals and flip-flops for bunions. A direct link for all of these sandals and flip-flops are going to be down in the description of this video. The first sandals are called Gaia. Here's why you will like them. There is a toe post design means no pressure on bunions and they have an open back design for easy wear. They come in sizes of 5 to 12. The widths are standard B and wide D and the upper materials are synthetic. Flip flops are often considered to be bad for bunions because they provide little to no arch support and can cause the big toe to slide out of alignment. However, the Gaia Toe Pass sandals are a different story. They feature a built-in arch support that keeps the foot in alignment and an adjustable strap across the instep that secures the fit, helping to reduce the pain and inflammation in bunions. They also have an ergonomic rubber outsole that helps to absorb shock thus reducing the impact on the bottom of the foot and their lightweight design reduces fatigue in the feet. In addition, the toe post design means nothing covers the bunions so the shoe won't make the bunion worse. It's available in brown, blue, and pewter. The next shoe is called Lyra. You will like them because they're lightweight and they have a stretch uppers. They come in sizes of five to 12. They have standard and wide width and the upper materials is a stretch knit. The Lyra are great stretch shoes for bunions. These sandals are designed with a back strap that allows you to adjust the fit and keep your heel in place to prevent it from slipping. They also have a soft and thin toe pass that won't cause any friction or discomfort between your toes. The stretchable uppers can easily accommodate many forefoot conditions, including bunions. Plus, the use of breathable materials provides ventilation to the feet, ensuring they remain healthy and otter-free. Lyra is available in blue, gray, and pink colors. The next shoe is called Paloma. You will like them because they have adjustable straps on both sides of the sandals and they have a timeless design. They come in sizes of 5 to 12, they have standard and wide widths, and the materials is a soft leather. 
The stylish Paloma sandals are constructed with one adjustable strap across the instep and another adjustable strap across the toe area. This allows you to customize the fit to accommodate your bunion and ensure that your foot is not cramped, reducing the risk of pain and inflammation. In addition, the foam padded soft leather uppers adds a layer of protection, ensuring that your skin remains healthy and free from blisters or abrasions. Whether you're spending the day at the beach, strolling through the park, or running errands, these sandals offer a stylish and practical option for those with bunions. They are available in camel and black color. Best men's sandals for bunions. The first shoe is called Gemini. You will like them because they have multiple straps and a soft leather uppers. They come in sizes of seven to 14. They have a standard and an extra wide width, and the material is a soft leather. The Gemini sandals are designed with multiple straps that offer a truly snug fit and are lined with stretchy materials that conforms to the shape of your foot. There are two instep straps that open on both sides, which is very helpful in general, but specifically for those who find it challenging to reach the external part of the shoe. In addition, there is a third strap at the back of the sandal that allows for easy adjustment in the heel area. And finally, to accommodate any bone deformities, there is also a fully openable strap across the toes. They are available in brown and black colors. The next sandal is called El Dorado. You will like them because they have a soft and thin toe post. And they also have an outsole with advanced grip. They come in sizes of 7 to 14. They have a standard and wide width and the material is a soft leather. The Eldorados are not your regular flip-flops. The Velcro strap across the instep allows you to secure the fit and enhance stability, while the toe post is intentionally thin and soft to prevent any irritation and discomfort between the toes. Additionally, the sole is not only cushioned, but also constructed with a mild rocket design that helps propel your foot forward to allow you to walk with less effort. Seeing as it is a toe post design, your bunions won't be pressed against anything, and they are available in a black color. The last shoe on our list is called Taurus. You'll like them because they have bungee laces for personalized fit and a stretchable uppers. They come in sizes of 7 to 14, they have a standard and extra wide width, and the material is a soft leather. The closed toe Taurus sandals feature adjustable bungee laces and a hidden heel strap that offers a customizable fit and make it easy and quick to put them on and take off. These adjustable laces and strap also provide a secure fit. The stretchable uppers of these sandals can easily accommodate a variety of foot shapes and conditions, while the seamless soft foam interior helps to prevent chaffing and irritation that often occur with more rigid shoe materials. They are available in gray color. So, which shoe do you like the most? Let me know down in the comment section below. And remember that there are going to be direct links for each shoe down in the description of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.